Okay, this video is going to help explain the following reaction and the following stoichiometric inversion problem. It's asking me how many grams of aluminum I get from this reaction. It tells me I'm starting with 27.2 grams of magnesium and plenty of aluminum sulfate. So my first step in any type of problem like this is to write out and balance the equation. So my equation here, it tells me I start with magnesium plus aluminum sulfate. Aluminum sulfate is a combination between aluminum and the sulfate ion. Sulfate is negative 2, aluminum is positive 3, so the correct formula is going to be Al2SO43. This is a single replacement reaction and I'm going to have magnesium attempting to replace the aluminum from aluminum sulfate. So to find out if this reaction will even take place, being a single replacement, I need to look at the activity series of the metals. And I see magnesium is more active than aluminum, so yes, this reaction will take place. I want to make sure that I always check that, though. So if it does take place, magnesium will replace the aluminum, and I'll have magnesium sulfate. Magnesium is positively two charged, sulfate's minus two, so the formula is just MgSO4, plus poor aluminum all by itself when this reaction is completed. I'm going to write my amount that I have here, 27.2 grams underneath the magnesium, and if I'm trying to get to aluminum, I'm going to put a blank there in grams. My next step is I really should balance this. So balancing the sulfates, I'll need a three here, which balances out my magnesiums, and I need a two here for my aluminums. So this is the balanced equation. So I'm given my amount of magnesium, so I'm going to begin my conversion problem with that. 27.2 grams of magnesium. And my next step is to convert from grams of magnesium to moles of magnesium. I put the grams down here in the denominator so it can cancel with this grams in the numerator. And I look to the periodic table, and it gives me the molar mass of magnesium, one mole, is 24.3050 grams of magnesium. Now that I'm at moles of magnesium, I can convert from moles of magnesium to moles of my desired element, in this case, aluminum. And that's my stoichiometric ratio, my 3 to 2 ratio from the coefficients. The 3 goes with magnesium, the 2 goes with aluminum. The moles of magnesium cancel out, and right now I'm left with moles of aluminum. But the question asks me for grams of aluminum, so my next step is to convert from moles of aluminum to grams of aluminum, moles going in the denominator, so it can cancel with this mole in the numerator. The periodic table tells me that one mole of aluminum has a molar mass of 26.9815 grams. My only rem remaining unit that's not canceled out is grams of aluminum. And all that's left to do now is to toss this into the calculator to get my final result. Just as a little tip, I encourage you to put this into the calculator in just one step. Keep all of your numerators together as follows. 27.2 times 2 times your 26.9815 divided by the denominators together in parentheses 24.3050 times 3. If you put it all in in one step, you don't have to worry about rounding along the way. We only really have to worry about rounding in our very final answer. Right here I have three significant figures with 27.2, so I'm going to want three significant figures in my answer, and I'm going to get 20.1 grams of aluminum formed from this reaction.